right? This is actually a new customer. We have a bunch of pallets we're going to fucking bring to uh, the yard tomorrow and to another customer. I have a guy that buys these ones. Home Depot um, has a lot of these. Uh, they're, um, they're like stone pallets. They measure uh, 40, 48. Sincere, what up, my boy? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it'd be like that, man. Every now and again, you, you really get lucky and you catch those situations where you drive fucking three minutes away. Oh, oh, don't throw it. Oh, they're gonna fucking kill me. Ugh. What's up, sweetie? Yeah, Andrew, I'm gonna catch you. Catch you in the group, man. Yeah, make that deal happen. I'm gonna talk to you. Just uh, keep me posted. This this glare, this glare is spanking man. There we go. Yo, Will, what's up, man? Everybody's jumping in. What up, family? Yo, so uh, this is this is Justin, J Rich Pallets. He got this deal lined up. Yeah. All these pallets are profit too. We didn't we didn't buy one of them. All all these came off the from doing routes and going to some some suppliers that we have that just give us free work. And on here it's all um J Sal, what's up man? These are all broken ones or ones that were taken to um a different a different customer or whatever. We actually had a second delivery to do today, but um we got kinda tied up, so but this, yeah, this is a new uh, this is a new customer. I don't know. It's some, some kind of business. I'm gonna give you guys a drop on something. I mean, I don't really care, but some company, fertilizer company. But yeah, check check us out. Start seeing the trailer get unloaded. Guys, direct them to just grab from like whichever one this one I think is. Oh, word. Nice. Well, yeah, I'm about to um, I'm about to prop my phone up. We gotta, we gotta like fucking take some of these straps down. They're actually gonna be a supplier also. They're giving us about 30 or so.
we are. Um, this move right here, they're not taking all of them because some of them are broken. We were grabbing some for the yard and for, um, we have another customer that buys these ones. They actually measure in reverse. They're 40, 48. Um, they have my Home Depot. If anybody who has Home Depots near them, you may see these red, they're called Old Castle. But I have a, I have another business that, that purchases those. So tomorrow morning, we're going to do a drop over to him. It was actually the first private contract we ever got. It was with, um, actually, he was the first supplier I ever got. Called him up. Hey, Jesse, what up? Yo, we're in South River right now. I'm over here by, like, um, by, like, Starland Ballroom. Like, on that part over here, I got a pallet delivery. This company is, uh, fucking this. Yo, this sun is fucking me up right now. Yeah, we got a delivery. This company is purchasing 100 from us. 550 at John, so. So, a quick, a quick little 550 play. I actually had another delivery too. I had a delivery in South River, 550. Then I had a delivery up in um, Edison. That was um, Edison's for 300 pallets. That's a $1,500 delivery. I just couldn't do them both today. We got kind of tied up. But if I was able to do both deliveries, I'd, I'd have made $2,000 today. Should have been a kind of a normal day ish, surprisingly though. No, we, we middlemen them. We find companies that are getting rid of them. Commercial on like a commercial scale, uh, that's like fucking industrial warehousing or whatever. And then um, we find companies that that need to purchase them. And we ju we just kind of just connect A to B. Some companies give them to us for free. Then you turn around and resell them for five six dollars. But but all of us we get contracts though, so we sell them all the companies. And it's like they'll buy a hundred a week, they'll buy two hundred a week. You know, it's like it's like that kind of thing. So. And the sun is. Why is the sun? The sun smacking my ass right now, bro. I can't. Over here? Yeah, on the front. Yep. Can't get a fucking good. TDK Lambda. Hold on. Where I took a screenshot of that. Good looks, Jesse. My nigga. But yeah, no, nah, you should really, I mean, you're, you're an entrepreneurial guy yourself, man. You should really look into the pallet business, man. There's, there's more money in this and doing whatever it is you're doing now. I mean, I'm telling you, there's a lot of money in this. It's just not to be slept on at all. Like last month, last month we did almost $35,000, bro, in real life. It's not, it's not a pretend. Like, <laughs> you make ridiculous amounts of money selling pallets. And we sell them all the companies in the area. Like, I have a major contract with Burke's Warehouse on the corner of... Um, Journey Mill in Bordentown, like where the technology banks used to be. Yeah, that company, uh, I, have a, I have a contract with them where they buy 600 pallets a day. Um, we just kind of stopped serving them because we're doing a couple of smaller things right now, but they buy 600 a day at three at, at a $5 a pallet. So it's a $3,000 a day contract, and it's right there in Saraville. So all we got to do is drive around, get pallets for free, buy pallets, flip them, do whatever we got to do to just get, get them over to them. So like some days we'll try and bring... Some days we'll try and bring them like 400, you know, that's $2,000 a day, a good day where we bring them 500, that's $2,500, you know, in a day. And then, and then uh, we're dealing with like logistics centers and warehouses that use the pallets for outbound shipping. So like some of these places, they're shipping thousands and thousands and thousands of items every day. So just for them to run as a business, they have to fucking try and figure out how they can source you know what I mean? Fucking 400, 500. Our one warehouse goes through 600 pallets a day. Just imagine, like, fucking how much of a nightmare that is for them as a company. No pallets, no business, you know? It's fucking crazy, but um, not really, no. Like, these right here, we did no refurbishing. Not nothing. We have, I have a hammer that um, we, like, at most, we might bang down a nail. But, uh, no. All my mentors and all my big homies, they run all the pallet yards in, in the state. So um, they kind of put me on game to refurbishing. And for a while, we were even thinking about getting into it. Buying um, what's called a, band, a bandsaw table, which is like the breakdown tables and all that shit. But we just never um, decided to do that, whatever. 
So it's like it's like kind of not needed, but no, I'm here. Yo, Ox, I'm trying to get like you. That's it. Doing, doing a little, uh, a little, a little punk ass um, hundred clip. Oh yeah, you can. Um, yeah, I got the center of the what do you call it? The bar over here. Mainly just um. Yeah, grab from the second one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the other one, I grabbed it just so I saw the belt. I ordered. I got the lip right here in the back. Yeah, I got the lip. So, yeah, I got the lip. If you can figure it out, get it. Yeah, now we over here though. It's actually a, a new. A new delivery we're doing. Justin got this spot. I didn't get this spot. I would have probably honestly curved the spot. <laughs> I'm uh, not paying. Justin giving them uh, the deal of a lifetime. I don't do deals of lifetimes anymore. I, I... Yo, Jit, just grab higher up. I'd love you to just grab from the second one up. Yeah. No, Jesse, no, no, no. We don't refurbish them. We could, we could if we wanted to, though. Like, that's the real business is refurbishing because you can take, like, any random piece of wood and, like, break it down. But at the same time, like, the volume that we move, it would almost be counterproductive for us to refurbish. Because, like, I have customers that straight give us fucking 400, 500 pallets whenever we want to go there. You know, I have tons of people that just give us good pallets that are already in A and B grade. So, like, we just don't need to. If a pallet's too fucked up, we just we just bring them to the pallet yard and sell it for less. You know, the, the ones that are in better condition, we sell direct to customers. So, I let the pallet yards do do what they do, you know. I don't even got time for all this refurbishing shit. Yeah, man. Yo, but I'm telling you, Jesse, it's a lot of money, bro. Yeah, if, uh, some cases seven dollars. The 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 national rate right now for a grade B pallet, a grade B pallet is a pallet that's been uh, at some point in time like refurbished, something like um um I don't know, like they just like these stacks over here, how they're not like perfect, perfect, but they're good enough. That's a grade B pallet. Um, the national rate for those is six fifty a pallet. That's, that's, that's the going rates. So we do five fifty, six dollars. Depends on on the, the customer. Some customers they get a different style. They pay eight. I have some customers that, that buy a certain style. They pay eight a piece. But yeah, you can do the math though, man. If you find one, two small little companies like this, um, very small little contracts, you know, and, and you could sell fucking two hundred, three hundred a week, you know, at, at five dollars, that's enough to fucking get into the game. You know, make a little six thousand a month. You start, you don't do a little something. You know, I have like students that are fresh fucking into this thing, in their first uh, month or two in the business. You know, they're already at that three hundred, four hundred dollar a day mark, and they have their thing set up. It just seems a little crazy when you're like, like, hear me talk about it. That like, people are just jumping into the business and it's falling together for them. But it's, re it's really like that though. <laughs> like it's really, it's really something they jump into. As long as you work hard, like this thing is so big that. You know, like get, like getting contracts and stuff is fucking nothing, man. It's crazy. But here we are, fucking. Um, I don't know. I'm about to get off this thing. I gotta help Justin strap some shit down. But yeah, they're actually also supplying us with some work. But there we go. So that's what it is, man. The pallet business is the best business in the world. Um, changed my life. Me and my team are on pace to probably clear shit, probably like 300000 $350,000 this year. It's no exaggeration at all, man. Changed my entire life, changed the way I look at things, changed my family's life. You know, it's a business that can change everybody else's life as well. So um, I, I, highly, I highly, 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 highly encourage everybody, um, look at the pallet business, look at the logistics industry, you know. You got to think about it like this. Uh, everything in the world has to move on a pallet. So everything in the world without this, nothing else exists. You know, a lot of us, we choose to build businesses and get involved in products that people don't need to use at all. Like that, like that, that coming, like, like, like it's just, that's just the reality of it. So a lot of us promote and we're involved with like fucking just fluff bullshit products that are totally optional. You know, pallets are not optional. 
You have no choice. Companies have no choice but to use these things. You have no choice. So what better product to get involved with than our product? Companies have no choice. <laughs> like without, without pallets, these warehouses would shut down. It's fucking crazy, man. The product of all products. You know, it's, it's, it's like I, I, I've challenged myself. You'd be hard pressed to find any other product in the world that touches as many other companies as, as fucking the pallet does, man. I'm telling you. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing business to be involved with. It's amazing. You know, we deal with, we deal with, I, I can't say the industries that we're involved with because I don't want to say too much, but we, every industry that's out there deals with pallets. Like, the, this, is, this is a lawn care business, but we're in lawn care, construction, fucking beverage distribution. You know what I mean? It's like, it's an amazing thing. And then to, and to also make money in, in, in the business, you don't need to have these huge contracts. Like, look at the place we're at. You know, it's, it's fucking one bay door. You know what I mean, like, and 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 this this is a a five hundred dollar a week contract, and I personally probably wouldn't have even taken it. I ain't gonna hold you. I probably would have passed on. Motherfucker, fucker, fucker, fucker. I don't think I brought it. I might have the the other one though. Did I, did I bring it in here? Oh, motherfucker. Hold on, let me go now. Hold on, yeah, let me get off this. I, I, got, I got to get my receipt book. I think I fucking left it on my damn fucking living room table. Hold on, hold up. Hold up, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Did some dickhead shit. Closed the deal. Don't have the receipt book. I'm an asshole. Hold up. Fun fact, guys. Make sure you have your receipt books. Whatever. Shit, 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 Didn't bring it. Definitely don't have it. 100% don't got it. I thought I may have had the the other John. The, um, motherfucker. Nope, don't got it. What's fucked up is we were talking about it before we left, too. We were like, man, you got to bring a receipt book. I'm going to bring his receipts. And I, and I just got so distracted, I left it. Man. I hate that shit when I because some some people don't some people be tripping some people want like they want like a receipt and all that so but yeah here we go everybody on this you guys were able to see this got unloaded now now we're light though so oh man a little fucking wood wood scraps my fucking my leg today covered in fucking mud <laughs> I know, I know, I know, no, no, this, this, this isn't my truck. I'm, I'm, I'm with my partner today. When I'm in my ride, I keep it like on the floor. But, and then I actually went out and I bought, 